An Army veteran is under arrest after federal authorities say that he is the one responsible for making bombs and dropping one of those bombs off at the entrance of a VA hospital. And tonight we're learning more about the person with a long criminal history. News Channel 8's Marco Villarreal joins us live in front of Bay Pines Veterans Hospital in St. Pete. Marco? Well, the suspicious package or bag that was found and turned out to be a bomb was dropped off right there at the entrance of the VA, VA Bay Pines VA. But it was cameras at this Wawa that gave police a first look at the suspect. I see like tape everywhere. On and that I, side. Out here, out here in the back, they had the alley taped off too. Neighbors are reacting to the news of the arrest of Mark Edward Allen at his home. He's linked to a suspicious bag left at the east gate of the Bay Pines Veterans Hospital. All the neighbors are like, the FBI is here. So there's ATF, there's FBI, there's Tampa Bomb Squad, there's St. Pete Police. Um, they had SWAT. Everybody you can think of was out here. Tampa Bomb Squad discovered the bag left behind had a 9-volt battery, electrical wires, black powder, and a clothespin switch. The only clue, an image from a Wawa security camera showing a man with a long gray beard who was wearing a U.S. Army baseball hat. Two days later, the criminal complaint reports a woman calls police saying she has an IED in her trunk and she was scared. She took the device while her husband, Alan, slept at home. Home. Neighbors describe suspicious noises from the apartment. They would stay up like super late at night and they could hear hammering and all kinds of weird noises going on. And Alan has a long criminal history. He's been arrested and charged in the past several years for battery, domestic battery, and resisting arrest. And Alan made his first court appearance yesterday. If convicted, he could face 10 years in felony in federal prison. Reporting in Pinellas County, Marco Villarreal, News Channel 8.